in the darkness lies your fears welcome back everybody to the next episode of resident evil hd remaster um this bothers me from here you've got a good view of the entrance of the cabin is a 15 or a 16 a 15 okay uh let's put our ink ribbons away Okay, I can go down. And I can't go there. A crank. I remember where that goes, roughly. What the fuck was that? Beat me over the head. How often is Jill going to get beaten up and somehow be okay? So, leather face? Um, no thanks. Bad. Oh, Jesus, it's following me. Run, run, Rudolph. Um, can I just run? Apparently, I can just run. I mean, because you can run from Nemesis a lot. Um, grab that. She beat the hell out of me, didn't she? Sounds like a lady. So not... Oh, is that the way we went already? Wait, what? Oh, that's the house. Hi, uh, Steve. That's good enough for me. Actually, hey, grab my ankle. Grab my ankle. You're supposed to grab my ankle, fool. Are there more? The only one. Oh, that's a way to start an episode for me. So walk and they leave me alone, right? Yeah, caw caw at you too, bitch. There doesn't seem to be like a change your target button, unfortunately. A little late, but how's everyone doing? Hope the answer's well.
Like, where do the zombies just randomly come from is my question. Because, like, Steve wasn't there a second ago. I mean, how long were we knocked out? I guess we don't know the answer to that. But, like, really, how long? People don't stay unconscious for ages like movies want you to think. If you're unconscious for more than a few seconds, you, you're not okay. Okay, right, we already killed the dogs here. That's good. I believe it was up here. Yeah. Shut up, wolf. Uh, because the other way had an elevator shaft or just a, an open shaft that I assume is an elevator. Assume is an elevator. Um. No? Okay, it's not. And not a square shaped hole. There we go. Like, in a real life situation, who the fuck would figure this out? Like, no one's thinking this is a game that has to be beaten, that there's puzzles involved. You hear the sound of waterfall in the distance. Okay, I guess I want to keep that. Could have just swam across. Why, that would have been easier than finding a crank and being attacked by some Texas Chainsaw Massacre wannabe. That looks like the kind of elevator. They all some nice crows. Is that the waterfall and mention? Go through the waterfall? A raging waterfall. It looks like there's something beyond it. Then go beyond it. Not gonna lie, it's not that scary. Hello. Battery's been taken out. Man. Okay, so we'll need to get a battery, put it there. Oh, man. Those things will attack me. There's a bunch of them, too. Like, at least four, it looks like. Here you go. If I use the D-pad for walking, I won't accidentally run. That's that's a smart idea. Using my noggin. Using my noggin. That's good. It's always good. Find those. <sighs> to the courtyard then. Shit. Shit. It's literally raining snakes. Not hallelujah. Y'all think that it's raining, man, and let the bodies hit the floor the same song told from a different perspective? A residence, okay. Well, if we had been poisoned. A pesticide spray for flowers, it appears to be empty. Zero, zero, one. A 
save room. Okay, I was like, but is there a thing? That's also important. Aid spray, pick that up. Buckets. The thing there. I don't want the ink ribbon. That. And anything over y'all? Hiding? No. Lots of first aid sprays. I want to keep the handle. No. Don't know. My um, canteen looking like. That will fill you up. While we're here. Might as well. The handle away for a little bit. Bring the lighter with us so we can light things on f I mean, will we even be coming back here? Probably not, to be honest. And do right next to each other. There we go. Huh. That can clearly be moved. But for why? Oh! Jeez, what the frick is going on? What was that? There doesn't seem to be anything useful. Okay. Like close that window. Honestly, an open window just sounds like a bad idea. Newspapers I scattered about. They all seem to contain articles about stars. Ooh, someone's stalking me. Stars. That's a map. Right? Who would have a map? Wow, that's a big residence. The hole in the wall. Really? Really? I had to look on through, didn't I? No, that wasn't part of our deal. But it's not necessary to destroy stars. Hmm. What about my family? Off of me. Lock. Door plate reads gallery. Get off of me. I said get off of me. You good? Hmm. Come on, get that one. Oh. So Barry's up to something. So don't examine that wall again. Jill. Barry, I heard someone talking. Oh, you heard. I think age is starting to take its toll. Talking to myself is becoming a bad habit. Talking to yourself? You all right? What's gotten into you? I'm getting worried, aren't I? Put down my wallet. I guess this creepy mansion has gotten to my nerves. Anyway, I think I'll go outside, get some fresh air for a change. Don't worry. 
just going to get some fresh air. If I'm lucky, mm -hmm. I'm going to face some monsters along the way. Right, Barry. Right. Plant 42 report. Four days have passed since the accident. The plant at point 42 is growing at an amazing rate. Although there are many unknown aspects about this plant, we know that in comparison with the other group of plants, the T-virus has had a substantially stronger effect on this one. The T-virus has drastically morphed its host anatomy all, as well as its size. Looking at its current state, it's difficult to imagine its original appearance. Nowhere on Earth will you find anything like it. We've also found that Plant 42 has two main sources of, has two main sources of acquiring its necessary nutrients. One source is through its roots. Somehow it has rooted itself down to the basement. Immediately after the accident, a scientist went mad and destroyed the aqua ring. Ever since, the basement has been like a pool. There's a high possibility that it's one of the chemicals in the water that's promoting the Plant 42's rapid growth. However, we have yet to determine the specific chemical. A bulb-like body of Plant 42 has been sighted hanging from a ceiling on the first floor. We are sure that it used the air ducts to reach the first floor. Numerous long tentacle-like vines are protruding from the bulb. We believe that the vines are the second means of acquiring its nutrients. When Plant 42 senses its prey, it uses the tentacle-like vines to capture its prey. After doing so, suckers on the vines drain the prey of its blood. We've also noticed that it has some intelligence. When it captures its prey or when it's inactive, the vines twine around the door to stop possible intruders. Unfortunately, several of our scientists have already fallen victim to Plant 42. When we heard the stories from the survivors, they all observed one thing in common. When the uniform petal-like flaps open and reveal its vital internals, it has a tendency to become more aggressive. One witness reported that it was as if it was trying to protect itself. Why it behaves this way is still unknown. Henry Sarton. Okay. Papers. Some appear to have vomited blood on them. Oh, hey. There's a ladder here. Climb down? Sure, why not? Why not? Aqua ring. Welcome to the Thunderdome, bitch. from the other side. Why is that important at the moment? Ah. Gotcha, gotcha. That's an easy one. Thanks for the help, Roper. Music's a little bit extra. Not gonna lie. I kind of want to go back though and examine that door where that other box was because it appears to be unlocked but might as well finish this bit just to have it done I uh, went to Red Robin for dinner tonight at with Oates's old mentor he's very nice Hopefully she approves of me. But it was a nice dinner, you know, simple. I had a burning love burger. It was okay. I think there were too many flavors going on at once that I couldn't really pinpoint a single flavor. So it was a little lacking, but hey, all you can eat fries are always good. Alright, cool, we made a bridge. Uh, but yeah, let's do backtrack a little bit, because I would like to go that door with the the um the thing you know the thing the box whoa what wait why how where did you even come from steve find that very rude Barry, you are the worst 
like, helper ever. Like, you, you suck, Barry. How did I even get in the house? Good. Good. F2 heart attack. What? That's a bit weird. Oh, Jesus! Okay, maybe if I walk, maybe that's what this is for, a means of stopping that. I guess. What about there? Work? That kind of works. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Don't know if it actually works. We'll find out. Legs just fall off. I said no, thank you, sir. Losing my health here. Um. Oh, hey. I'm actually expecting that we could take that down. Good. Crack full of wine. What about that? Red oil lamp. It's not lit. Let me go get the thing. The lighter. Is they're here? Stay hydrated, by the way, guys. Ladies and gentlemen. There we go. I think. I think Chris has a permanent lighter like Jill has a permanent lockpick. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the case. Well, that's nice. I wonder what lighting this candle does. Like, it's a weird red. Is it going to ward off things? Is it going to show me something? An eyeball. Strange silhouette hovers in the reddish light. It has some kind of meaning. A well, red eye. Dish, uh, partition is decorated with dishes. The movement. Advertise for an arm wrestling contest. The winner will be named chief for the day of Raccoon Police Department. Great. Let's see if we can get in and out of here without disturbing that spooter. This. Aid spray. Red eye, green eye. I think the red eye had, um, Eyelashes, though. Eh, not really. Don't really. <laughs> Butts. Butts. Okay, so yeah, so the green one had no lashes. The white, the red one had like just the sides and this one has top three and then on a bottom billard's ball it's two three four five and six there doesn't seem to be anything significant about the order but 
Really? Uh, let me write that down. Okay, so. Take notes for this game. So, red eye. Green eye, just a circle. Orange. Da, da, da. Then balls. So, blue two. Red three. Purple four. Orange five. Green six. Okay. There. Notes taken. Like I'm a professional video game player or something. <laughs> What could this mean? I don't know. But we'll probably find out soon. Okay, good. Not being attacked. I very much enjoy that. That's one puzzle down. And one nasty plant below, apparently. Not know there was a door right as we enter here. Huh. Toilet, maybe? Probably a toilet. Yeah, right there. Oh, a key. Oops, can't hear anything. Interesting. So it's not always a first aid spray. I just used it on accident. Ugh. That's dumb. President's key. Let's see if it says a number on it. Alright, what number one? So let's actually back rack to room one. You have to go through the berry thing. Counter this. I'm a bit upset that I already did that, but I have an idea. An idea. Every time I hear that fluttering, I'm just like, shit, it's dogs. Just the moss fluttering. It sounds like dog clicks on on the thing it really does so you're telling me this is too high to jump down whatever Jill <laughs> Jesus I should have done it the other way Son of a bitch. yes discard here's my idea because there's three of them Take them. Bane. Take it. Go put them away. As. Don't need it. Actually, I might need it. So maybe I will keep the blue. I think that'd be a good idea. <sighs> you know, just because I'm feeling nice, we will explore that little room. Uh, the two rooms before ending this episode. See what's going on inside, yeah? Stupid plant. Oh! Well, that's depressing. Um... Look in here first, because I'm pretty sure that rope will break and he'll attack me. Oh, 
full polished mirror. Full of dirty water. Pull the plug. Sure, because nothing bad happened last time I did that. Nothing inside the bathtub. Control room key. Of course. I did it in the wrong order. My logic was flawed. What? Dad in the face, dog. Dude, come on. Well, that was a waste. Unfortunately. More ammo. Ooh, hey. Two rounds of ammo, though. That's nice. What is this? Suicide note. I had to do it. We ran out of those things. We ran from those things, helping each other to survive, but Robert started to show the symptoms. I had to do it. Those damn things are pure evil. There's no other way. We would have done... He would have done the same for the other way around. After I put him out of his misery, I had to, I had to just leave him in the bathroom. Now I'm probably the last one. What happened? I'll never forgive myself for being part of this project. Eventually, I'll get what's coming to me, though. There's no way to escape from this nut house. It's just a matter of time now. Everything is set. All I need is a little courage to get it done. Knowing that I'll leave many things undone is a threat beyond words. This is better than just waiting to turn to one of them. Please understand at least... And at least let me in my life as a person. A message on the back. Linda, please forgive me. Okay. That shows signs of having been used. Control room. At. Okay. What was this? It's a magnum? Yes, that's neat. Like, carrying around a magnum for one shot doesn't really seem worth it. Not gonna lie. Um, siéntate. Do that. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this episode of Resident Evil HD Remaster. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you have not already. And join me next week, or it's not next week, in two days for another episode. Thank you so much. Do take care. But until next time, bye bye for now. Hey there everybody, thank you so much for watching this video and supporting this channel. If you wish to support me further, think about pledging to my Patreon or donating on Streamlabs during one of my weekly Saturday live streams, both of which have links in the description below. Join the Discord to stay up to date with all current and future projects, and make sure to like and subscribe as that's what I'm supposed to tell you as a YouTuber. But in all truthfulness, just thank you so much, and see you next time.